Hello and welcome. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, has your week been? I feel like we're slowly getting to the end of this week, so I hope you're holding still and wearing your face mask and face masks and doing everything that you're supposed to do. Anyway, well, thank you um, for joining in. Um, I just, in case you don't know, this is an entertainment analysis show that does it better than nobody else. We basically analyze all your favorite celebrities, all their gist, everything that's happening. We also serve it with facts and figures, explain, break it down, analyze, cook it, serve it, and sip on it. And to do that with me is if I was okay, my personal person. What's going on? How's What's it going? going on? It's popping. Well, you right? yeah. You okay? Yeah, bless. Are you sure? I, I feel like you're in a different dimension today. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad one, just very different. Yeah, yeah. kind of. All right, okay, it's well. Allowed. When huh? you don't have money. Mm. This money, is, it's going to come. Huh? It's going to come. No, it definitely comes. It's just January. Just the thing about January and mm. not, you know, having too many views to pay. Yeah. Recovering from 30 December. Yeah. And, um, yeah, a whole lot of other stuff going yeah. on here. I feel like so. that was me last week and the week before, like... Ah, like, well, yeah, you no, uh, well, you know, yeah, something it's, has, it's some, some things have come in, so some I feel like a bit No, some things are coming in, they're just not enough. Mm, I feel it's not it. like they're not coming, they're not just enough. No, is it ever enough? It's never enough. It's never, never enough. Never, enough. ever enough. Anyway, Sha, uh, let's go into the, 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 the package that I've created for them today. I think it's going to be fun. We have guests, we have music, we have gist, so... I hope you have your tea ready. Starting off, we have former housemate of the reality TV show Big Brother Niger, Venita, who recounted how she lost a real estate deal after she turned down a sexual advance from a staffer of the company. In series of tweets, and I mean series, she talks a lot, uh, she shared mm -hmm. via her Twitter page on Tuesday, uh, the movie star narrated how a promising deal went sour after she turned down sexual advances from one of the company's heads. And I quote, this industry is not beans. I guess it's rice. I don't know. All is smoke and mirrors. I pray to God to be able to provide security for my girls. Some time ago, I was, I was to go into business with a real estate company. I was so excited for my first home, which was heavily discounted on the journey of independence. Obviously, everybody can relate to how important that is to be able to have a house. The company the company was well established and boasted a roster of worthy influencers. I was welcomed and I felt at home with the brand. Unfortunately for me, the media head, who also had a similar industry background, decided I looked like his ex-wife and carried my matter on his head. She alluded to how things got terminated really quickly, but now things have turned around for her and that we should persevere. I mean, when I say we, uh, women, and this has been keeping her story really, really, really short. She basically explained how um, they offered her like a hotel or something and then um, the guy wanted to sleep over as well and she was like, ah bro, you can take the sleepover uh, and your entire house together, like I'm out of that, you know, she went peace. And then, uh, what else did she say? She said she reported the case and they were all like really supportive and doing an investigation only, only to find out that he's just, he wasn't just a creep in like the sexual department, he was also fraudulent and wasn't giving out all the, th all the money that she like basically deserved or whatever. But then after all of that, when there was a lot of ginger going on and momentum to, you know, fight for justice, they just stopped picking up her calls, all of them now, including the media guy, the owner, the CEO, everybody just stopped picking up her calls. So I guess her wala was too much. Um, and, you know, it was obviously sad for her. But I guess now she's saying that she's found other deals, like something has come back for, um, to her a lot later, but better. And that basically what is yours is yours. It was really motivational and stuff. And then she also talks about how, like, the black women are the most abused people on the planet and this and this and that. Um, yeah, she spoke a lot. But I wanted to know what your takes are, Ife. Um, I just feel like um, it's over with that point where a lot of men, especially in a position of power, feel like they can objectify women for their own personal gains. You know, you see a woman and because she looks like your ex-wife, so she has to play the role of your ex I don't like, get it. Like, I, I really don't. But that's one side of the story, and I'm never one to run with one side of the story. I always like to hear both sides. Where you're professional, where you work in a... Yeah, that's your side. Yes, I know it's my job to talk about. Yes, I know it's my job to also stand with all women, which I'm going to be doing 100%. But I also would love to hear from this. You know, if they can be called out completely. I'm not fond of this... Um, 
let's call out people and leave out their names anymore. Mm -hmm. If we want to call out, let us call out. Call out the company, call out the media head, call out the CEO, call out. Let people know who they are for who they are. So just to avoid another woman from falling into that thing because you have not really helped anybody if you ask me. You can talk about this. This is a known, this is stating the obvious because we all know this. It's not just in the media space. It's not just in the movie space. It's not just in the it's real everywhere. estate. It's everywhere. Men want to get satisfied for places that they did not how do I put it now? <laughs> they don't have a right to. They yeah. don't have a right to. Mm. They just want to reap it and they don't feel like, oh, because you're a woman, it's my entitlement. It isn't your entitlement as a man. It isn't. It's just, are you going to work with a woman for our intelligence, for uh, our contribution to whatever you're doing? I think we should get to that level where we begin to see women like, okay, they have something to bring to the table as well. Do you understand? I'm not just looking at them from the they angle. They should be starting to say that, heck, we can even make the table. We can build the table that you are going to be Nobody sitting is, on. I, like, I, I, I just feel like it, it's a starting point, you know? Let's it's even, too low. The bar is too low. Like, I think at, at this point, I'm no longer asking for equality. Like, I'm asking for respect. Superiority. No, I'm asking for respect. And if my respect is bigger than your entire entity, then give me that because that's mm. what is due. Um, I like where you're coming from, to be honest. If you're going to have a like an honest, unbiased conversation. And I think, okay, I'll say it's biased for me because I'm agreeing to this statement because I kind of know Venita a little bit to know that there is a possibility that her attitude just really stank and maybe maybe yeah that that incident happened but the fact that everybody else now decided to call it off was that it was adding to the wahala mm. that she already like embodied it is possible but even then when you when you're not the kind of woman who ha who ha who has an attitude and for all you know Venita didn't have an attitude in this particular period and she was okay oh, there's no. a lot of people that would still think that your own is too much mm. like you bringing no, definitely. up definitely we, yeah, we you, know how to victim shame in this part exactly. of the world exactly so but yeah, I'm not even trying to victim shame Venita. I'm just saying that I'm not one to run with one side of the store. That's just me. That's who yeah, I am. That's what I'm explaining to now. Yeah, I get you now. Okay. We're on the same page. Oh, okay. I've not flipped the page. Oh, all right. We're still on the same page. Oh, okay. uh, it's still number six. Page <laughs> six. Uh, we're still on page six. We don't go to seven yet. Oh, my goodness. Right. So, basically, uh, I just feel like a lot of people should also learn to call out. If I want to call out anybody, then I'll not call you out. Maybe because I have a loud mouth anyway. Mm. I mean, I'll call out people even in reality, in real life. I'll call you out in real life. So I don't know about doing all this internet. So if I really want to call out somebody, I won't be talking about a real estate company. I'll be naming the company. I'll be naming the CEO. I'll be naming their media. Come out and defend yourself. Come and beat but me. But I don't house. think the story really is about them, is it? I think she's trying to say that. She's happy that she didn't have to sleep with somebody because something else came for her. Which is mm. another, okay. That's another okay. um, advice that I, I don't know. Bro, sometimes if you don't sleep with that person, which is fine, you, don't have, you shouldn't even be doing that. It might not come again. Mm. And you just have to move on and find something else. It's just the unfortunate system. Like, it's so toxic and so bad, and that there's so many hurdles in front of a woman, which is mm. why sometimes like, it really pains me when men undermine the struggle that women face, that there is a genuine, like, glass ceiling mm. that some women would not be able to pass through, mm. except they do a few things. So a lot of the times, if you're not lucky enough, your decency would limit you Especially in some, it's worse in some industries. Mm. And you have to admit that. If she didn't go to Big Brother Niger, if she didn't maybe do other things, or if she wasn't as privileged as she was, maybe she wouldn't have found another deal like that. A normal girl who's, who's from nowhere and had that opportunity, and, that, and she said no. Sometimes they never see the opportunity again till Jesus calls them or whoever they worship calls them. Or well, they go back to the grass if that's what they mm -hmm. believe in. Whatever, you understand my point. So, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's a nice way to. It doesn't I'm, work for everybody. No, the it same doesn't. Way it, works it, for it, you. it doesn't. But I like that she made a lot of emphasis still on the fact that just keep doing your thing. Like, keep mm. breathing life into your goals. Keep, just keep pushing or whatever. We all know that that's, that's a math that works. It's not mm. now um, a system or whatever. If you keep pushing, yes, your, your, lim your, your sky might be a bit shorter than other people's, but yeah. you will definitely see progress if you keep on moving and stuff. So, definitely. yeah, I like that she's kind of promoting the idea of seriousness and, like, integrity and embodying all of that. I, I, I feel like that's a really good, a, a really good thing. Um, 
it, I don't know how else to dispute what she said, but there are just some things that were just feeling a little bit too rosy dozy. Like, no, sometimes you just don't ever get the opportunity back. Now, in terms of calling people out, if, if that's not what she is going against, like, I feel like Venice has also won, I don't know, I've seen her call people out before, like, even on her story and stuff. But I don't think that the main characters of this conversation is them. I think it's mm. more about, like, where she is now and what she's doing for her girls and mm. stuff. Anyway. Uh, do you have anything else? No, 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 no. Okay. I wish you the best luck and all our endeavors. Uh, same, Jerry. Same. Anyway, I'm going to get to the saga. I recently broke a four year mm. um, box office record. Funky Akindeli Bello is currently top trending on Twitter Niger with film lovers and fans congratulating the star actress on her latest feature. The actress co directorial release on Mogetu of the Saga recently broke a four year record as it emerged the highest crossing Nollywood film of the decade. <laughs> knocking off the Kemi Adetiba, The Wedding Party. I don't know. Have you seen this movie? I haven't. Okay. I haven't. I but from the people I... who have seen it, they, they, they're all speaking well about the movie. I know our co anchor in your last set, she's seen it and she, she gave a very positive review yeah. about the movie. And um, yes, yeah, about it, um, you know, Grossing being the highest gross movie since 2016. Yes, I think it's, it's really applaudable considering the fact that it happened now. You get the cinemas are half capacity, the people going out are not so many. So even when you say half capacity, if it's 50 people that is half, you'll be expecting like 30, 40. And you're still allowed to make so much money or you're still able to make so much money. I think um, that's You're very doing something very different. Because I, I think... And I, I think, think it's because of the sequels. I mean, the the previous uh, episodes of Omoghetto. I think there's Omoghetto 1, 2, and I think there's the third one, if I'm correct. Um, I think... Um, They've been very good movies as well, and people just want to see how it continues and continues. So when you're doing a sequel, like you want a continuation to your movie, just make sure that you know first one is the same. Because I've seen a lot of movies that will say watch out for part two, and I really don't care about watching yes, part exactly. two. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so I, I think that's, I was going to say, I think for her, it's word of mouth that really did this, because I don't remember seeing this movie advertised. Have you seen the video? No, that's what I'm saying. I've the not seen. Video. I've not seen. Oh no, no, no! I've not seen this uh, this movie advertised anywhere. Usually, there is. If you drive on Lekki Ekbe, you'll be seeing all the little uh, poster flyer things mm. hanging around. By the time you get to um, the 1004 no, area, think, like all I'm saying is that this wasn't heavily marketed. Mm. It wasn't even think, as marketed, think, in my I opinion, think, think as was, but... Ala, uh, What's that one? The one with this guy. What's that guy's name? Brother Shaggy. Yes, and and uh, Tony. What movie is that? The one where they were event planners. What movie is that? That's what I'm asking you. Al Alakada Reloaded. Alakada yes. Reloaded. Yes. Oh, okay. So I've seen Alakada. I haven't was, seen Reloaded either. You, you see, that one for me was heavily um, marketed. marketed. Heavily marketed. It was in everybody's Instagram. All the actors that, that I that I follow. Well, what's this guy? That's this. That's that guy. What's this now? <laughs> like, you just came back to me, like, but said this guy. Like, <laughs> I mean, so I just... We are, we, you see, you got it. I don't recognize him now, streets, uh, like, That's his... Everybody has a thing. If I'm wasting time, describe table. me with imbecility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, who's the guy with the towel? Towel. Yeah, put Sydney the towel on uh, here. You see, who is the guy with the? Um... That's not imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> that is not. He what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> it's not really an universal thing. It's like, kind of like a, like a dance, sort of. That is. You're wasting time. Wasting time to go and do your own kini. Let's... <laughs> How do I do mine? Show me, show me, show me. They make your body Give me ideas. Fair. Give me ideas. Can we just move on? We're not getting this. Uh, <laughs> we are definitely not. No, we're that's not. That, that's exactly. Let's stay <laughs> let's, your lane. Do the one that you know, know how to do. Exactly. We're not funny people. Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel like that. I think the word of mouth really did this movie. The, mm. like, the first of the people to watch it couldn't stop talking about it and it mm. spread and everybody. Because I remember people, I got to know about this movie even being in the cinema from mm. word of mouth. Like, have you watched this thing have mm. you watched this thing I'm have you been to the cinema anyways yeah i have i have I you have. have yeah i even went with elsie actually oh when yeah, when she was still around no i'm talking no, obviously you've been to the cinema i'm talking about in recent time. obviously i thought you yeah. meant like covid times because covid uh, this is, i'm talking about like early december last year oh yeah, yeah that's a lot i'm talking about like oh early december yeah. last year yeah all uh, right that's still quite yeah, yeah i watched this movie that i'm talking about 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is, I don't think I'll even want to go to the cinema just yet. It's Gen empty. It's probably the safest place. It's, oh, wow. Yeah. That's deep. Because <laughs> it's really empty. There's not a lot of people there. Except, except from, um, uh, what's it called? Or more ghetto. Every time I've gone to the cinema, it's been booked packed. up, like packed. It's full. I, yeah, I that's why she's making a lot of money. So people actually want to see. And you need to also realize that, look, a lot of people are saying, ah, it's happening in the pandemic time. It's happening. People are jobless this period. If uh, there's a lot of movies there, what are you talking about? The cinemas? Yes. How many do you want to a see that is Nigerian? A, 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 a lot. There you is know, the that rattlesnake. Is See, Ife, it's only I heard Nigerian. Is terrible. It's only Nigerian movies. I heard. That's, that's what I'm telling you, Ife. Don't take away from Omotola. I mean, uh, Funke Akidele herself. Mm. She is the secret to this magic. It she isn't recipe. about. She's the, she's, she's the spice. Because like it's not about the fact that we're in a pandemic. It's not about the fact that there are no movies just there. That movies it's are just, just, I don't know what it is. This movie was good enough that everybody wants to watch it, mm. period. Like, and I don't know what she put inside of it because I haven't watched it yet. But and I'm sorry, it, everybody yeah. that has watched the movie are not people that I, I, I respect in terms of like uh, movie opinions. So but I just spoke <laughs> about uh, Eniola recommending. Eniola likes everything. You, you don't Every respect no, her in no, terms no, of no, movie no, no. opinions. Because me, my, like, I feel like wow, a lot of people that like... that is so below the belt for your core anchor. What would you say about me when I'm not here? If, if I, I wouldn't respect your opinion about Nigerian movies either. About Nigerian? Yeah. I wouldn't even give you my opinion about Nigerian and movies. I don't with. know. I just, I just feel like Nigerian movies are very hard to like impress me a lot of the time. No, you will. Have I ever given you a Nigerian movie that didn't... Make there was one story. movie that you said was so Nigerian bad. Movie. Yes, Nigerian. Niger, you were like that Ni movie is so bad. I watched it. Was if I, it wasn't I'm, so bad. I don't think bad. I know any Nigerian movie that is so bad. Hey! So I'm not even going to tell hey, you. Man. That. <laughs> That's not good. Eh? I don't know any. See, there is no Nigerian movie that that has kept me like oh, that movie bad. No, I mean bad as in like a terrible bad. You said that that movie oh. was a terrible bad. Like, oh, no, no, no. it was allowed. so terrible. And then I watched it and it wasn't actually terrible. I think it was a lottery. A lottery. I think it was a lottery. You remember, no, I think like, the was you remember bad. like, what was that? Did I think it was bad? The ending was somehow. Yeah, no, no, the no. acting for was me, this. For me, no, Why no, did no she the acting the was pill? a point. Why did she. For me, the acting was a point. There are just the certain things that make up a movie for me. You see the first two minutes of a movie. Very, very. We see those ones that they are even writing that nobody is acting. They're just saying in the year 1990. Yeah. I read those things. I pause to read. Yeah. And then another thing that stands out for me is how you finish a movie. It's really important. The beginning and the end. I really don't care about the body. Did you finish up the body? Anything what doing is what doing well, right? Mm. Exactly. So if you don't end it right, the movie is trash. Okay. Well. I will take yours over in your last shot because uh, everything is nice. Everything. All the movies. <laughs> Any? Any? Anyway, we, we love you. Let's kill. Um, let watch me... more. Watch more. So you can gain more. <laughs>